Hey there, YouTube. Joe here, KE0TSE. Welcome back to another episode of SoCo Ham Radio. I am actually in my second mobile ham shack. Uh, my vehicle had to go in for some repairs, so um, I converted over to uh, my Jeep. Uh, so I'm in my Jeep. It's pretty much set up as the, just like the other one. Um, little, little different, a little more built for, you know, a little bit of off-roading and stuff like that. Uh, I do have a different antenna on this one. Um, but same setup. Today, I want to do a review on probably right now, um, out of the radios that I have is my favorite radio. Uh, it's a handy, uh, great radio, super rugged. Uh, the radio is the Islands HD1. Um, oop, and I'm accidentally keying up uh, the repeater. Um, I love this radio. Uh, it's a uh, great radio, hasn't done me wrong. Um, few things that I don't like about it. I'll give you some pros and cons here in a minute. Uh, really, really rugged. Uh, I cannot even tell you how many times I've dropped this radio. Uh, a lot. It's been a lot. Um, I actually, funny story, I rode a one wheel one time and I wiped out pretty bad and I had this on and it went flying and all that really happened to it was it left a little indention right there. I don't know if you can see that. I know the camera's a little funky, but it left a little indention right there. This radio went flying. Uh, so some specs on this radio. Uh, dual band, VHF, UHF, um, two meters, 70 centimeter, uh, 3000 channels, uh, 7.4 volts, um, typical. Here's the kicker, the battery. 3200 milliamp hour battery great battery this thing lasts a long time i don't have to charge this thing for days uh so it's really comparable with the um the anytone 878 um as far as battery goes it it does great um one issue i did have with this radio and i don't know if it's because i've dropped it several times but the bezel around the PTT button and the two programmable buttons right here actually came off. And I don't know if you can see, I actually glued it back on. No big deal. Uh, it didn't come off all the way, uh, but I did have to glue it back on. And like I said, it might be because I was so rough. You know, I've been so rough on this radio. I'm rough on a lot of things. So um, holding up and durability is really crucial to me. Um, so... This is an analog digital radio, DMR analog radio, just like every other radio I have aside from the Baofeng, um, it will do DMR, it will do analog. Um, the price, uh, you can get them on Amazon for around 180 bucks right now, uh, non GPS version. Um, and I, they don't do, a lot of the things, the GPS part doesn't do a lot of the things that, uh, you know, in any tone and stuff will, but you can send your GPS coordinates to another radio uh, and all that good stuff. I opted to not get the GPS version just because I don't need it. Um, and and it's, it's a little bit more pricey to have the GPS version uh, for something I'm not gonna use very often. Uh, now, if I'm up in the hills and, you know, I might need GPS and yeah, it might work, but I do have a radio for that if I need it. Um, so, like I said, this is my favorite radio. Um, wattage, they say 10 watts. Um, I believe, let me see here. Um, it does not show on here, usually it shows. Um, I know it's a 10 watt, 10 watt top power. I think it's 10 watts on one band and eight watts on the other, uh, something like that. 
I don't run this on high all the time just because I it works great on just medium power. Um, so I usually run it on, on just medium power unless I need to get that little extra boost, that little extra reach. And then I'll bump it up to high, but I do recommend um, not having very long uh, QSOs on high. Uh, if you can if you can drop it down to medium or low and still make that contact, I recommend it. Uh, another thing I did away with that I didn't really like was the stock antenna. Uh, the stock antenna is kind of rigid and it wasn't working very well for me. So what I did uh, was my buddy has an Anytone, Anytone 878. And him and I were sitting in the same spot. We had another another one of our, our buddies, um, you know, quite a ways away. Uh, I think he was, you know, two miles away. And we had buildings and trees and rolling hills and stuff uh, here in Colorado Springs. And my buddy on his Anytone was, was reaching him just fine. And I said, well, hmm, what the heck? So we start testing some things out and I grab out another radio and we're trying some things out. And uh, I said, well, you mind if I try your antenna on my radio? He says, yeah, go for it. So I try try his antenna, uh, his ant any tone antenna on my radio. And sure enough, I can make the contact, you know, clear as day. Uh, so what I did was I went to, I believe r Electronics has the uh, rubber duck any tone uh, replacement antenna. I believe that's where I got it. If I'm wrong, um, I will put the correct link in the description. Uh, but the Anytone antenna is a lot more flexible and um, obviously works a lot better than the uh, stock antenna that comes on the, the uh, Islands HD1. So I went with that. A uh, lot more flexible. I really like it. Uh, this is my favorite radio. I have not tested this, especially because I've broken the bezel and stuff in water. Um, they do claim that these are, you know, waterproof or water resistant. I'm not going to go submerging my radio in water. Uh, but for, for those of you that want a very durable radio, uh, decent, really decent power, uh, crystal clear audio. I mean, this thing was, they designed this for the ham. Uh, programmable everything is programmable from the keypad um i'm more of a code plug guy uh but you can program everything straight from the keypad um which is you know amazing uh, you can program everything color codes top groups uh channels you name it you can program it into this radio um I prefer the code plug. I feel it's a lot faster than actually going through on these little buttons um, and programming that way. But it does work great and this is my favorite radio. If you're looking for a smaller radio, I wouldn't recommend this. It is quite heavy. Um, the weight on this, I thought I saw the weight here somewhere, uh, but it is quite heavy. 360 grams, I believe, with batteries. That's what it's saying. Um, pretty heavy. I mean, it's it's a stout radio. I recommend it. I, uh, I got a phone call. I record these videos on my iPhone. I had gotten a phone call and it kind of messed up the video. Uh, so we're back. I was talking about uh, the other thing I don't like about this radio is the brightness on the screen. When you're out in the sun, it is very hard to see this screen. And I hope that um, Islands uh, Redivis in the future comes out with a fix for this uh, because I really do support these radios and I really do like them. Uh, Redivis did a really good, uh, they, they did a really good job at creating this radio. Um, and I hope that they, they keep making more like this with the ham in mind. Uh, that's that's really you know my only issues with this is the stock antenna the screen brightness and that's about it uh everything else is great about this radio i've had it for quite a while now and i love it um so if you want a good radio you want to uh you know you're in the budget of about a 200 hundred dollar range i'd say go for it um you know i think the next best thing and this is just my opinion you know everybody's opinions 
very. Um, I feel the, you know, the one that um, somewhat tops this radio, I mean, as far as features and all that cool stuff goes, is going to be the Anytone. Um, I would definitely, um, you know, pick either this or the Anytone for my top radios. Um, the Anytone has obviously a lot more features, but I do like a bigger radio, um, like I've said in my other videos. So this kind of tops that for me. Uh, and like I said, it's super loud. The speaker's loud. Um, I never have to have this volume turned all the way up. Um, it does weigh down your belt just a little bit, uh, but I'm a bigger guy, so it doesn't bother me anyways. Um, so let me know your, uh, your thoughts in the comments. Uh, please hit those buttons. Like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, if you want any more information on this um, radio, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you have any other questions about this radio. I'll more than more than happy to help you out. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to a, another episode of mine, and uh, hope to see you on the next one.